fear led a young couple in West Allis to send their infant daughter to stay with family members. Yeah, this after they say they've become targets of hate crimes on their block. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joining us live from the West Allis Police Station tonight. Michelle. Yeah, Jessup and Natalie, this young couple has been dealing with slash tires and racial slurs for months. And now the West Dallas Police Department confirms there is an open and active investigation here. Tanathia Addison and her fiance, Reginald Wilkerson, moved onto Mitchell Street a year ago. And then I gave birth like a week later and everything. And I noticed it was very family oriented. Everyone's walking their dogs, you know, taking their kids out. And uh, it was great. Addison describes the block as friendly, but less than a year later, a sudden change. Our tires got slashed the first time. We left a note in the windshield pretty much saying, get out of the neighborhood, not going to use the words that they use. This is one of the shocking notes that accompanied the vandalism, the N-word in all caps. It's hard to, hard to fathom, you know, because we, I feel like we came so long, so far. Since the first tire slashing, the couple says they woke up to find similar damages five more times and more racially charged notes. Always on the same two tires. It's never on that side. It's never anything like that. Wilkerson and Addison say in all, it's one busted driver's side window and a total of seven slashed tires. They're out of pocket well over $1,500. Oh, we replaced the tires, correct. And then they came back and did yep, it again. came back in. We put brand new tires on the first time. Put brand new tires on, they slashed them, and then we just kept putting on tires. In addition to the financial toll, the emotional toll is even worse. Out of caution, they've sent their baby girl to stay with family members, knowing this person or persons are still out there. I think that's the mother's, especially like a new mom. For me, that's my worst fear. I can't even think about it right now. You can be any race. It doesn't matter. You should be able to live where you want to live. There are now cameras outside the home on Mitchell Street, and they're hoping that police have enough on there to make an arrest and help them restore their sense of peace. Reporting live in West Dallas, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.